um, we have established that you know um, she she went home to be the Lord on a Wednesday morning. Yes. And you you said you didn't even cry. No, not really. I think it's the acceptance more. Because hmm. seeing her, especially in pain every day, is like now she's resting. You know that acceptance? At a point I was bitter. I was like, I think I was wishing like I miscarried. My God. Instead of like being an adult, raising an adult, yeah. you, your confidence, you're actually best friends and you just see her going. But at the end of the day, when seeking stories, listening to people's stories, I was like, okay, it's God's will. There's mm. nothing you can do. Yeah. Yeah. If you can unchange that, then that's fine. But since you can't change it, yeah. there's nothing you can do. Just accept and lead your own life. Because has she had her own life and has it? She had her purpose, so we have to like seek ours. Yeah, yeah. Still, because we, we are still alive, so just seek your mm. path, your own path. What do you What do you think her purpose was on earth? I think mm -hmm. is to teach about love and forgiveness, because even the friends she associated with at her age, they were like, "How can you be so forgiving?" She taught. She used to. Like when people are fighting, she's like, she's the mediator. And then she's taught people there's hope, there's, you know, there's love. Learn to love one another. Like yeah. us, every time in that fellowship, she used to say, like, we seek for forgiveness. So I think her purpose was maybe to bring people closer to God or something. She wished to be a TB ambassador, but mm. God, didn't, God had other plans. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, maybe we'll be her voice. With her sister. Yeah. yeah What's her name? Know. She was called Mobese Kashama. Eh, is she Kenyan? <laughs> <laughs> she was called She was who? Congolese. Oh, yeah. Mo Mobese. Yeah, Mobese. Huh? That's yes. a beautiful name. So you see even her Instagram is still running. Oh, is it? Yeah, there's a time I used to look at it and I cry. I break down. I didn't want to see because she posted some videos. Yeah. You know, yeah. but these days I just look at it and smile. You know, those mm. those are some of the healing processes. Yeah, I couldn't even open it, and then in her journey, still she it's like she was rushing to do everything. Her nails, she wanted us to go to CJ's, Nini, photo shoots. Like on in October, funny enough, mm. if you see her pictures, mm. in October 2019, she was very healthy, but she was on steroids, mm -hmm. so she was looking a bit pumped. Okay. So the problem started actually in December. The, the legs could yeah, the fold nerves. themselves, then she would fall down. So from December 2019 to March 2020, there we are. She stopped walking completely. Then she would break down a lot, but at the same time, she was like, okay, Her faith was still is, very yeah, strong. Was, it was very strong. Wow. So you, you were telling me before we went on break about... Um, going to the mortuary yes and what was that for you mm. i think it was easier because we saw her taking her last breath but the difference is you felt like she was sleeping because all her life she never used to close her eyes when she was sleeping mm -hmm. funny enough she used to say like this all her life yes like but she sleeps with her eyes yes, open. yes with her eyes open you even do like <laughs> Like on a serious note. You're serious? Yes. I've never heard of anyone like she that. She used to sleep with her eyes open, really, huh? literally. So in the in the coffin, her, her eyes were closed. So now like yes. that? Yes. Uh -huh. Although they were saying, is it embalming? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. They oh, they had to embalm, so that's yes. how come they were now. So for once, I saw her eyes closed. <laughs> okay. Wait. For real. Even as a child? Yes. She when used to sleep with her eyes open. That was her thing. Like, that's how you know this is Wobesi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Is she the first one I've heard of like that? Imagine. She used to, I don't know if it's a habit, maybe in the other side of the family, uh -huh. but I've never seen also. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so. gosh. Okay. Yeah. So, and you said that she, you needed to get her a white dress? Yes, we, we a long white dress. Okay. Yes. Any reasons, any particular reason okay, why? Okay, the dad side is they are Catholics. Okay. So they, they did that. They bought like these christening dresses, you know, the ones mm. you, yeah. yeah, so they yeah. had to buy for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we followed because we are very obedient people. <laughs> but anyway, we had to do that. It mm -hmm. looked actually better. 
because yeah. if using even her old dresses, it could be odd. Yeah. So they we just had to do everything. Her hair was combed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Basically. So who was doing that in the family? The people at the mortuary? No, the or? people at the ah, mortuary. Okay. Yeah. So as we went to see when she's ready, you know, the day before the burial, you confirm she's the one, whatever, whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that she was now ready on Saturday. Yeah. To be buried. Was um, the dad involved during all of this? Yeah, he was kind of involved okay. because actually we okay we are not together. Yeah. But he was playing a part, so he was in the UK actually. They couldn't travel. So the people who did there, you see, unfortunately, the people, his relatives here did all that. All that. They prepared the grounds, they bought the dress, but him, he was just sent for videos and pictures. Actually, I just wrote a text, your daughter is no more. So it, you can imagine how hard it was for him. But later this year, was it in October, hmm. he came last to year. do the memorial. Uh, yeah, last year. Yeah. He came to do the memorial. We, he made the tomb is it the to make that the grave stone yeah. yes uh-huh yeah so at least i think that was at least a relief for him because he wasn't there during the funeral ah yeah but were they talking when she was unwell when she was going through this season yeah they were communicating okay. because she also had her phone yeah so i used to let them have their you know they, there's no need to come in between yeah so yeah they were talking yeah, yes. that's kudos really for you yeah, because thank most, you so much. most single mothers yes. <coughs> try very hard to separate their kids from their dads. I don't see the need of that. Just play your part and do both of you just do your obligations. Yeah. Then let, let there be peace. Yeah. Yeah.